years, over 100 of, boy, of the boys who graduated from Teal Cup, the competition, represent in the senior state competition. So that in itself is uh, enough. The umpire is Shane Carbines of the VFL, one of the VFL senior panel, and there's the opening bounce. Dawson against Noble, and uh, Noble wins for South Australia, but withers Sharks for Victoria and puts the home state into attack. Mark appealed for, but not paid by umpire Carbines, but the free kick is. Brereton taken too high with that tackle. Young man kicked seven goals from the half-forward flank against Tasmania at Punt Road on Friday. Beautiful spiral punt. It's got distance, but not accuracy, and it's through for a behind. In fact, it looks like Keenan is taking the kick. It is. It's a long kick, and South Australia in front once again couldn't mark. That's a good tackle. Victoria going in, head down Brereton. Must get the free kick. That's almost where angels fear to tread. That's a tough way to get your sixth kick. Apart from learning the skills of the game, he's also learnt some of the acting skills of the game, it seems, Dick, because uh, he really made sure he got that free kick. 40, 45 metres out, perhaps. Difficult shot, but he can kick the ball the proverbial kilometre, as we've seen. This one is close. It's home. First goal to Victoria, kicked by Brereton. Brilliant on the half-forward line. Six kicks so far to this young fellow, and Victoria 1-5-11. Leading South Australia, 1-2-8. Chance for Maloney if he can thread his way through. It's touched, and there's Martin again. Clearing up in defence. But this one is all Brereton, and he is well within scoring range. I didn't like that too much uh, from a young gentleman. And you're lucky to still have the football, Mr Brereton. Game in the seniors, first semi-final, about three, four weeks later. Two players on the bench. By John Kennedy playing in defence, given over to Mew. Mew puts it down toward Peyton. Peyton can't take it one-handed. Knight taps it down, but not before the umpire set a free kick. And it will be taken back there on the wing position, out of sight of the ground. Dermot Brereton playing his first senior game and playing in a final. The first man to do so since Michael Cook down towards half forward. Hinch Move the ball on and uh, Rockets, so he's moving forward. And, and I could tell there was somebody the chasing. Was, this has turned out to be a good mate, Gomez, Andy Demetrio. And Lee Matthews is with pass. The other way and I thought, he won hell of a action Puts the ball up toward the centre of the ground. Carmen flies high, brings it to turf, picked up by Russo. Down toward the half forward zone, an opportunity Henshaw, well tackled, bad bit of football as Brereton got the hand pass away. It's a chance for Ede with the ball in front of him. Oh, heavy work by Matthews. Ede goes toward goal. And it's through. Heavy work by Matthews leading one north. You know how you, you hear Absolutely fables so and uh, myths and that? It really did sound like a, you know, a big sleeping bag sack full of bones just getting whacked. And it was just, I looked back a few seconds later and it, He's just caved him in. It was horrific. <laughs> First quarter, I just didn't adjust to the tempo. I just ran around like a, a chook with his head cut off. Second quarter, it just fell into place. I got one lace out from Barney Matthews coming out of the centre, and that was, yeah, that was a pretty good start. Peyton trying to do it all himself. Goad, who came onto the ground at the start of the term, is there as well. The umpire says the tackle was too high and things going Hawthorne's way at the moment as lethal Lee Matthews will take it from the centre. The drop punt pass in towards Brereton, he takes it. Beautiful pass, beautiful lead too by Brereton. It's a long way out from goal, it'll take a 50 metre kick at least to get there. Big Michael Byrne is up there in the square in case the ball does drop short. I noticed Brereton's first kick travelled well, see how he goes with this one. May not, yes it's made it, it's a goal! Good goal, kicked by Dermot Burton. I actually got embarrassed. I thought, you know, gee, am I meant to smile and giggle here or not? So wrapped. You see the footage, I actually start really smiling. Michael Byrne comes over to me and I'm like, oh, I'm kicking the goal. <laughs> it really was like a little schoolboy playing his first game. Three quick goals and the Hawks right back in business and that will do the confidence of Dermot Barrett in the world of good. Chance for Lovery to get out to Russo's chance for a score. The ball going quickly toward goal. Brereton's there and takes the mark only a few metres out. And it will be a 15 metre penalty, but he's not far enough out to have that full 15 applied. And the ball moved downfield by Russo to Brereton. He should bring up his second goal from point blank range. The angle uh, is a bit tight, but from the distance he should never miss it. The chance to come within two points of North Melbourne. Brereton does so for the Hawks and they're back in business once again. Club can't get balanced quickly, but he got a small pass to Robertson. Did it well. He can hand pass on one way. Now he goes to Russo. He went for Abbott. 
Abbott, uh, Russo back to Abbott now. Abbott takes his time to get balance, goes in toward Brereton again. A chance for Dench at the back, but he didn't come in, and he let Henshaw do the tackling, and Brereton takes the mark and will take this shot for goal. It's a real life wide, Dermot Brereton. He is that. He's got a bit of red hair. Reg Hickey, my old mate, would love him, the red-headed. He always loved all the redheads, but Brereton a chance for his third goal. It's a lovely kick. That's another goal. That's a beautiful goal by Brereton, his third goal. He's certainly making his presence felt out there. Schwab goes back and takes a gutsy mark, running into the ball. Goes short towards centre wing, finding Green. He goes over the top. Could be trouble, though. Some good shepherding keeps Cracker out of it as Chris Mew goes long towards the half-forward line. Matthews tries to make position and use the body. Byrne couldn't tap it over, but he does so. Gives it to himself, and then over the top to Matthews, who shepherds beautifully. Here's one for Dermot. Great goal. Great teamwork by the Hawks. A week after my first game, everybody wanted to speak to me. Yabby had put a ban on me, and he admits now that perhaps he needed to let me say something to get the wolves off my back. Meet the ball goes, hand pass was a bit too quick for Ablett. He recovers it himself and goes in toward the half forward zone where Tuck takes up a position, can't take the mark. Brereton's a chance for his fifth goal. 45 metres out from goal, Brereton goes forward and he's put it through. Another goal kicked by Dermot Brereton, his fifth goal, and he certainly made his mark this afternoon. A young player coming into the team. Hawthorne had to change some players before the game started. Terry Wallace and David O'Halloran had to pull out of the team and Brereton was one young player to come in and he's certainly done well uh, kicking five goals himself and has given away another couple in the goal square. Picked up for Hawthorne. Out it comes towards Russell Green. Green up towards half forward. Tucker's there. Gets clear. Play on says the umpire. He tries to. Over to Payton. Wobbly punt kick up towards Brereton. He's marked. Here is the sensation of last week. And he may have done a knee. I think he may be OK, Pete. I know they've got McConville playing on Brereton because of a similar size. There's a couple of interesting moves out there, Lou. Uh, players are all over the place. In fact, Ken Hunter is in the centre of the ground. I think we'll put a left foot kick down there towards the forward pocket. Brereton, but backing up well as Dool. He's in trouble again. He's lost it. And they're tackling pretty hard. It's a free kick against him. A 15-metre penalty to Brereton. And this young... Oh, there's a bit of a box on again. Oh, is this 10 rounds of boxing here today? And it will bring back TV ringside. Brown and about 40 metres out from goal and about a 45 degree angle. Scores dead level. There's the kick by the young fellow. He's off target and through for one point. So the Hawks have hit the front. Two goals, seven, 19 points. The Carlton, two, six, 18. But Duell is always there. Free Burn gets the free kick. And that's going to turn things about a bit because surely he couldn't miss from this angle. They desperately need it. The thing that sort of worried me, but uh, I believe that they got the, the foundations of a great club at Hawthorne, and that was the thing that uh, favoured going there. And uh, whilst that, a few of our players are, are getting in the twilight part of their career, we have some fine young boys coming through, young, uh, young Lovelich. Uh, young Brereton will be a great player regardless of his performance today. And Just playing the ground up to date. Sends it long downfield. Moncrief uh, almost took a big one, picked up by Brereton. Brereton then steadies and shoots for goal. They can't lose. But then you probably get the trouble. You can't please everybody, can you? Purser again. Against Payton. Purser got it out, not a good one, then Payton gets a whack. Uh, there's Brereton trying to get out the pack, but they've collared him, but he's set too high. And there'll be a chance now for Hawthorne to score a goal. Uh, Brereton would be only about uh, 35 to 40 metres out from goal. But he's directly in front and uh, already kicked one goal up to this stage of the match. So this will be a pretty handy goal for Hawthorne coming up to three-quarter time. They're trailing by 15 points at the moment. Let's see what Brereton can do with this kick. There it is on the way. And it's through for a goal. So the difference is nine points. Nine goals, 15-69. Puts greater Hawthorne, 7-18-60. That's the closest that Hawthorne have been for quite some considerable time against Footscray. Let's take a read. At the right half forward, Knight and Ead. Edmund and Ayres. As I said, Ayres has been moved on to Edmund. And they'll have a run taken from the ground. Brereton! Fine grab. And he's done well in this third quarter. He's 
take a look at the mark and replay. Yes, good grab. Siren goes. Brewerton goes back for the kick. Off target. That mark. Backing up well as Ayres. Gets the ball wide up to that half-back flank. Over to there to Kennedy, who's played very well for Hawthorne today. Goes for a pass. Oh, Brown on a great mark. He played very well in that third quarter after a slow start. And he and Russo are the two players that brought Hawthorne back into the game. There's the kick by Brown and down there towards Matthews. And a lethal lead's got the mark in front of Sewell that time. Of course, uh, Matthews playing. Advantage of it. Polking Horn in the way. Knights. Oh, Brereton read it beautifully. Looks to play. Being taken by Green. Green immediately plays on. Half forward. Glenn Denning. In front, Brereton. And in fact, I think the mark has been played through Brereton, although he did get a little shove in the back. Brereton. An exciting half forward on his day. Hasn't done a, a lot on this particular day. Kicks to uh, half forward. Bacchanara is the leaper from behind. Has it been awarded? No. Play on. Bacchanara the hand pass out to uh, Loveridge. Loveridge snaps for goal. And we'll wait on the uh, goal. Um, where's the goal? Tenders meet at Princess Park as Hawthorne hosted Essendon. And it was the Hawks who got the jump to lead by 20 points at the opening change. Timber of uh, Essendon winning out but the, the little men aren't there as Tuck seems to take an age kicks towards the centre Brereton leads down nice mark across to Ede Clever Duffy nice the tap on that's beautifully done here's a chance for a Hawthorne goal but the bounce doesn't go their way uh, player gets cricket. tackled too high well, he was hit in the head that time as he bent down he may have been a bit stiff the, or he's hurt I think I think he'll be okay but uh, Shields Shields yeah. or Brereton They've both got threes on their back. One's 23 and the other's 33 and they're both redheads. I think uh, Perovic was a bit stiff that time because he ran into him, actually. He ran into him, all right. Let's look at it again. Uh, a bad bounce. It just wouldn't come for him. Oh, yes. Well, it's a perfect hip and shoulder, of course, but of course he had his head there and that's the reason for the free kick. Brereton from directly in front has put it through for a goal for Hawthorne and that's a handy one for them but Brereton still not too good 8-5-53 to 3-7-25 it's Wallace hugs it to his chest boots the ball straight down to half forward Brereton clean mark over the top of Martella has a quick look within distance it's lovely long kick from Brereton and that's the fourth goal for Hawthorne Brereton's first Matthews has kicked three and the Hawks lead by two goals at the 15 minute mark first to Roberts, back again to Peter Schwab, who runs his full distance, then goes long in towards the pocket. Matthews attempted to use the body, was edged out, and Burton might take and the free Herbert kick, is going to get a free kick. In front of the small scoreboard that sees Richmond 68, Hawthorne 90, Alan Martello cannot believe it, but there it is. So, Dermot Brereton one goal that in fact was in their first quarter on slot managed to sneak one in between Lee Matthews performance and he's now made it two. so the Hawks move to 14-12 leading Richmond 9-14 on seven points down Wallace yet another kick from the centre long drive into Walton Barrett who takes it on the chest and uh, David Palmer inexplicably given away 15 metres and uh, the umpire now having a word with Peter Knights, and perhaps if he's not careful, may lose it. Nevertheless, Dermot Brereton has the 15 metres. It brings him to within 25 metres of goal. He's already kicked two, and an excellent chance of making this a 40-point break. And he's done exactly that. He's now kicked three, and the Hawks have four premiership points in the keep. In seven's big league. So Green to take it. Green left half forward at the moment. Lobs it high in towards the goal square. Dempsey is there. And out marked by Young Brereton. And Brereton hasn't scored a goal today. A chance to bring up his first. Let's watch it again. You'll see Dempsey try and outmark him. Well, there were two of them. One of them should have gone for punch for sure. Badly needed goal for Hawthorne if he can kick it. They trail by 16 points at the moment. 
They trail by 10. Brewerton brings up his first goal. And the scores on 7th Big League, North Melbourne, 9-15, 69, Hawthorne, 9-5, 59. Well, they... Kennett didn't make much ground there as D, uh, D. Pieta Menigo gets it again. Off the dial, there's a free kick this time for Brereton. We're on the shoulder. And uh, we approach the uh, 25, or well, right on the 25-minute mark, and he'll take that free kick about 35 metres out from goal dead in front. Well, Hawthorne making a belated effort to make their score look a little bit more respectable. 14-13 at the moment to 22-17. But the fizz has gone out of this game a long time ago. Running on the kick. And that's another goal. And that's goal number one to Brewer. So at the 25 and a half minute mark, it's Essendon 22 goals, 17, 149. To Hawthorne 15, 13, 103. Sure was. Movement by the Peter Minica. Oh, over the back came Brereton. What a great mark that was. Brereton balking at half forward. Now gives out a hand pass. He's got his ball. Well, here's Stephen Smith from full back going out looking for Johnson. Oh, that's dangerous play. Hand pass coming to Wallace into the open goal. A lovely play by Hawthorne. Beautiful hand pass by Brereton. Four goals to Terry Wallace playing. Pass now changes his mind. The placement kicks to Brereton and he takes the mark. So Brereton can do have a shot at goal. The forwards of Hawthorne cutting the Melbourne defence to pieces. Dermot Brereton has taken eight marks. What's his goal tally? Only one, so he's going for his second. He's done well, he's given the ball away a lot, hasn't he? That one's going to hit the, point, uh, the goal post again, I think. No, he got through. So he kicks the goal. That same goal post I spoke of has been struck three times in this turn by Hawthorne. Hinchin and takes the mark. So Richard Loveridge. It's for Brereton on this occasion. And Brereton takes a nice mark. Well judged mark there by Brereton. So Dermot Brereton. The lead from Matthews. Beautiful pass. What chance did Les Parrish have? <laughs> and now Robertson puts the ball wide and finds Britton. Britton. He goes on straight away because Judge is giving him the lead. And Judge. Out. Straight away now to O'Halloran. Well down the ground. O'Halloran gives a <laughs> hand pass to Wallace. Not a good piece of play, but it comes off as Wallace gives it back to Tuck. Britton on his own down the ground. He's got Knights at centre half forward. Britton kicks it to Knights and he takes the mark. Knights kick five in the first half of the game. Who's uh, having a bit of a problem with Phil Cracker. He kicks to the centre line, finds Brereton. He was keen to play on, but he was well uh, covered by Dench. Gets himself uh, into a bit of trouble, but finds Green, who's... One of the little fellow. He's played a great game today for uh, Hawthorne. Goes for a short pass. And it's a good one marked here by Brown. It's grabbed by Dents. Back to Wallace. Di Pieta Manico. Out wide now. Coming in to meet it is Brown. And on his own, there's no one within Cooey. Dents is just ambling along. He's got no hope of catching as the ball goes. No free kick for that, so Mew has another go. This time it's back towards centre wing. Dents and Brereton again. And three times in a row. Dents has beaten him, but he's tackled this time. Now McDonald it is. And... Still trying flat out there for North Melbourne. running a bloody of trouble. There he goes down. In goes Judge. A hand pass from Brereton coming over to Pop. Knights at the back. Can't take it. Weston's there. Brereton around Bradbury. On to Knights. Fixed up at the moment. Bradbury out the wood on his own. He's going to go down. Oh, by golly, are they tackling hard? Back to centre wing. Underneath it is Bradbury. Brereton's there likewise and spoiled him. Has to recover quickly. On to Tuck. Just for the spoil. Out to Brereton. Wallace, snapshot is off target. Field. Brereton, a knock on and gets steamrolled for his trouble. On to Judge. Judge into full forward. Matthews is there! <laughs> Luther Lee has not had too many kicks in this first quarter. He kicked to Loveridge. Loveridge down towards centre wing. Oh, snared beautifully by Brereton. And Brereton drives it up there towards Lee Matthews. He's going after it. Excuse for that. No, none whatsoever. Payton takes the kick. Or oh, two Hawthorne players nearly spoiled each other. Mark taken eventually by Brereton, but Judge didn't see him and vice versa, I'm sure. And Brereton starting to look a little bit dangerous towards the end of that uh, first quarter, I felt, Pete. Yes, Bobby. On that occasion. Well, uh, uh, we see the kick by Ayers, who's played a very good first quarter. The ball back out there. Brown again as Bob Skelton steps. 
looks as though he's ready to fire today. He started to play good about 10 minutes before the end of that uh, first quarter hand pass. And they bounce back into attack. There's a pass, a beautiful pass to Brewer. There's a chance to score as the hand pass comes over the Lovridge. Another one coming back. Go yet. Schwab hooks it up to half forward. Brewer and March in front. Until the best tackle of the day was by that uh, policeman in the tracksuit on the streaker. It was a gem. <laughs> Ten kicks, five handballs to Ayers. Mark in front to uh, Dermot Brereton. Looking for a 15-metre penalty, but the umpire not having it. Two Hawthorne players on loose centre field. One of those is Loveridge. Loveridge on the green. He's already kicked a goal before. Steadies for another one. Another long shot. Is a gem to Russell Green. James, yes, they can. And Dana just about getting into the back of Brereton, who has the mark anyway, I would have thought. Five marks to Brereton, and he too is limping.